All right, who's ready to get in this week's pickups? I know sure as shit I am. Let's get started. Let the midnight special shine a light on me. Cheers, everybody, and welcome back to another pickup video for you guys this week. Episode 102, as you guys saw, I hung out with my boy Wet Movie One and also Alex Labor from Flicks and Movies. We had an awesome time hanging out. We ended up going to a couple places. We had some good burgers. I spent a lot of money and we also went to a drive in theater. We watched the movie Rings. Kind of sucked, but it was fun nonetheless. But are you guys ready to see what I picked up this week? I know I am. <laughs> right off the bat, we hit up the good old beast, the Best Buy, because that's what they do. Went and checked out what came out for the day. I didn't pick up anything that came out today, but I did pick up a movie that I've been wanting to see. Big fan of John Goodman, and I'm anxious to open this puppy up and give it a watch. And that is 10 Cloverfield Lane. There's been an attack. I'm not sure yet if it's chemical or nuclear. Where are we? Underneath my farmhouse. Only paid 10 bucks. And if you guys saw the on about portion, I also hooked Lave up with a slip cover for um, Wall Street. The old Wall Street movie from back in the 80s. Yeah, just put that on this thing right here. And the guy at the register, he even noticed and he, he didn't care. He's like, whatever. <laughs> That's all I got over the Best Buy. We ended up going over to Hodad's. As you guys saw, I had a big ass delicious burger. And uh, right after that, we end up going back over to Poway because I told Renee, like, hey, I got a buddy in town. He wants to meet you. And so he came over to the store and we met up and <laughs> <laughs> I spent some money over there. So let's get to this big package deal that Renee hooked me up with. I got four games from Renee today. First one being a loose Sega Genesis game. It's definitely got a nice clean label on it. And that is Splatterhouse 3. <laughs> Renee had an awesome price of $49.99. At least that's what he was going to sell it for. I could not pass up on that one. Been looking for this one. It would have been cool to have it complete in the box with the manual but that is like super expensive so I'll take the game I'll take the cartridge definitely looking forward to playing this this game right here I also picked up a Super Nintendo game in there and I've been wanting this game for such a long time and every time I see somebody find it in the wild or get it in an auction or, or a raffle or whatever like Shogun Death and he wins it for like 20 bucks or some crap it's like man why can't I get that lucky but also, in this package deal, I picked up the Super Nintendo game, Castlevania Dracula X. <laughs> Pay no attention to the sticker price on there. $200 is definitely a little more than what it goes for. It goes for about $180. Also, if you notice on the corner, a little bit of label damage, a little bit of label damage. I would rate this at about $140 bill right here. Let me show you the third one that I got. This one is also a very, very expensive, hard to find out of print. Uh, but that is for the Sega Master System Power Strike. <laughs> I cannot believe I now own one of the most expensive Sega Master games. Wow. The cartridge is actually pretty clean. A little bit of damage on the edge right there, but not too bad. Not too bad for being as old as it is. Definitely pretty nice and clean. Looks like it's been in the case for quite a while. Um, it actually has the manual in there. In fact, it's actually got two. Why is that? I don't know. But there's a really nice one right here in really good condition. And then there's one that was slightly used, written on. 
Somebody wrote on there, leave game on. Apparently some guy, whoever was playing it, had to go somewhere and didn't want to start from the beginning. So he left a note on his freaking manual to let somebody know, hey, don't turn the game off. I'm not done playing. I don't see no reason to hold on to two manuals for only one game. So I'm definitely going to put this one up on the eBay. See what I can get. Maybe I'll do an auction or I don't know. Maybe I'll put it up for like 10, 15 bucks and just see what happens. Yeah, as you guys know, I love my shoot 'em ups. I love my shmups. I've actually played this one on the Raspberry Pi. Not the greatest shooter game, but um, definitely glad to have in my collection now. But anyways, guys, yeah, this package deal, I have one more game to show you guys that I got in this bundle deal. And this one, I am probably the most excited for because, one, I didn't know what the hell it was. And two, when I found out what it was, I had to get it. Because holy cow, I love collecting for the Sega CD. And when I found out that this, too, was also a shmup a shooter game and the deal that I got from Renee <laughs> there was no way I could say no could I afford it no could I pass the deal up that he gave me no so I definitely went for the deal I went for the package deal and the fourth and final game in this package is the second CD game Lords of Thunder And yes, that is a $200 price tag because that is about what this game sells for. I believe the last one sold in an auction for $180 bucks plus like $7 shipping and handling. So pretty close to $200. And the manual is in immaculate condition. Has a styrofoam right here. And what blows my mind is the disc right here is the cleanest, mintiest I have ever seen. It's perfect. This is definitely my best and most expensive Sega CD game that I now officially own. I got a pretty good size collection of Sega CD games and I am definitely glad to add this to that collection. Holy cow. Uh, but anyways, that's all I got over at Renee. But now it's time to talk about price that I paid and what it's worth I paid 320 bucks plus tax because I paid with the credit card when Renee offered me the price for all those games <laughs> I literally started sweating because one I can't afford it I owe a lot of money on my credit cards but also at the same time two I'd be an idiot to pass up on this deal. So, Renee, <laughs> thank you. That was insane, insane, insane. And the last place that we went to was Red Brontosaurus. Found an NS game that I did not own. It was only five bucks, and that is Bo Jackson Baseball. Five bucks it's a no-brainer just pick it up and yeah Renee kind of let 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 the uh, cat out of the bag so mark your calendars for April 12th storage wars I will be on this episode that's gonna do it for this week's fluffy game show slash pickup video I'm your host I am your boy I am the fluffy gamer and I will see you guys next time Bye-bye.
This looks fucking awesome. This game is going to be hard. I'm going to give it my best. I'm the best around. Nothing's going to ever keep you down. I'm the best around. Nothing's ever going to take me down. When you're the one left standing there, you reach the final bell. The best I'm in. Nothing's ever going to take me down. I will try my best to beat this game. Oh, I didn't even show this. <laughs> We're gonna have to edit this in. And the last place that I went to was. Let the midnight special shine a light on me. Let the midnight special shine a light on me.